Hello everybody, this is Also House Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dave the Diver. In the previous episode, we got roped into by a very energetic professor, uh, finding artifacts of the Sea People Civilization. But in exchange, we did unlock the ability to upgrade our equipment, which is going to be very, very useful for us. And a person from Boncho's past has shown up. challenge him and his ways on uh, cooking. Now then, we do have to add the whole roasted shark's head to the menu, and for the first time, we actually have something, and yeah, we can't enhance it, have something that serves more than one serving. You can get five whole ones out of this. We're gonna have four left over, because one of them's gonna go to Miss Yoshi. So, I'm just gonna add one of these, and then we have the White Tip Reef Shark Sushi. Definitely enhancing this. And yeah, like I said, it's worth a lot of money. Compared to the next highest one, which is the Titan Triggerfish Sushi for 1931. Definitely gonna enhance this some more. And then I'll toss the rest onto the menu to be eaten. I mean, what else are they gonna do with it? I really don't think things through when I say them, do I? Oh well. But yeah, that should be more than enough for tonight. There she is. Like I said, I don't know if you can actually get the fit the shark to show up before she does and thus capture it. But if you can, do it. It'll speed things up considerably for you. Alright, get this over to her. Ugh, disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. I think she enjoyed it. How do you like it? It's good, it's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. It's not an overly cloying flavor. Is, is this ginger? Ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. <laughs> Ahem. Pardon me, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. The Book of Five Rings states that one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. It's the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. The whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit it, this is good. You pass, Boncho. Let me tell you why I'm here, then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Hmm? What do you mean? Do you still mean to go it alone, Boncho? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Employees. Hire employees to reduce the workload. Holy hell, we needed this. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking food faster. Ahem, let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Alright, press X to post a hiring notice. Right now, we can only do the flyer ads, but the TV ads and the internet ads? Whew. Those will really help you out if you can afford them. But for right now, a flyer ad. Recruit staff at current cooks to rating, which is unfortunately cold. Resumes can be read starting on the next day. Your current resumes will be discarded. Yeah, make sure you hire whoever you want, because once you start a new hiring ad, they are gone. Flyer ad in progress. Hiring has begun. Good. The recruitment results will become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. 
Okay, great. Now, let's get back to the customers. Glad the time didn't glitch out, because for some reason, last time I did this, when I was kind of practicing to get back into the flow of the game, uh, when she was done talking and doing this whole tutorial, time was basically out for me to serve anyone. Don't know why. But yeah, once we got the right staff, running the restaurant is going to be so easy. Check the... Mm. And we've gotten bronze. Which unlocks some new recipes. Boiled yellowback fusilier. Salt grilled red tooth trigger fish. Agar togor... Tokorotin. Seasoned kajime. Get an extra menu slot. More kitchen staff. More wasabi. And an added interior. Basically more interior stuff has been unlocked for us. No. Oh. Shoot. It's not a good day if we got people ordering nori nut maki. And unfortunately, because they've already placed their order, I can't change it now. Eh, so be it. Yeah, 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 I'm working on getting you your food. Come on, chill. I don't think I'm gonna get the last guy. Which is a damn shame, because that's going to ruin my rating. But I think just serving Norimaki also does that. Yeah. Oh well. It's going to happen. But once we get some staff, it'll be a lot less likely to do so. Hey, you haven't quit diving yet, have you? No. Um, what is it this time? Um, I'm doing some investigation for an important paper. I'm going to need some help. Give me three blue sea shells and three brown shells. Okay, but aren't you, spo you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? Are you kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. What you're doing is only a very tiny part of it. Oh. So don't let it get to your head. Hurry along, I don't have much time until the deadline. You really are impossible. But, since you say it's for a paper, was it blue shells and brown shells? Yoshi has been added as a contact. Ooh, new posts. Sushi is the perfect light meal after a workout. I like the color. Mmm, <laughs> shark sushi has a manly taste. It feels stronger. We received an award. Please, come visit. It's good, but I can't get over the way it looks. It's a bit less gross on camera, so here goes. Alright, now in order to get the next one, we need to research at least two recipes. That won't be difficult, and get 20 followers. Alrighty then. Well, let's head back to Boncho's Sushi for the moment. May as well do some of that research now. Uh, like I said, salt grilled red tooth triggerfish. That's something I want to get. And that gets us our two research. I haven't really been getting agar or seasoned kajime. Or any kajime. Well, not true. I have gotten some kajime. I've just been more focused on fish. Speaking of which, boiled down in soy sauce. It looks simple, but it has a deep soy sauce flavor. Now, here's the question. Can I make any of this? Uh, yeah, I can actually make that, and I can't make this because I need salt. Yeah, that figures. Do I enhance this? I barely have any soy sauce as is. Well, it'll be on the menu tonight.
Now, much as I would like to spend some of my cash on my eye diver stuff, I think I'm gonna hold off on it. We want to save that money for tonight. So, let's dive on down. While we're at it, let's see if we can't get those seashells for Ellie. And get some more shark meat. And maybe some yellowback fusiliers? Oh, hello. Huh? You must be the dolphin from before. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? I wonder if something's going on. Come to think of it, I don't see the pink dolphin this time. I should follow. What happened to the dolphins? Uh-oh. Oh, pink dolphin. Pirates must have captured it illegally. I should cut its net. Now, he says net, but in reality you want to hit the rope. And you want to do this quickly, but also carefully. Because, yeah, the pirates are going to be shooting at you while also slowly raising the net up. No, you don't. Ha! Suck it. What's odd is that they're not far off from where Cobra's boat is moored. I think he'd have noticed that or said something over the radio to us. Ah, oh, well, doesn't matter. Maybe he just didn't want to get their attention. Oh, they left another gift. Hope neither of them get caught again. A large gold bar, you say? All right, well, with that, let's get back to our usual affair of fishing. What were the yellowback fusiliers? I can't check. Oi, come on. There we are. Nope, that's a yellow tang. Oh, hey, seashell. And let's see if we can also gather some materials, because we do need those. Baseball bat. And this is one you can actually charge up for more damage, but honestly, using melee weapons ain't all that uh, useful to us. Like, there is going to be a moment we're going to need it. That's not for a long, long time. I may as well get this. Ooh, scooter. That'll be useful. Yeah, you want to be careful going past those more eels. there's ammunition nearby I can pick up.
Okay, time to get out of here with our spoils. Not as much meat as I would have liked, but the white tip to reef shark meat does weigh a lot. Alright, and nothing else to it. Let's dive back in. Shoot, I should have looked up what the Fusilier looked like. I think this is it, actually. Nope. Salema Porgy. Gotcha. Uh, ooh, I think that's the Fusilier. Yep, there it is. Kind of sucks we're finding this, cause, um, ain't a whole lot we can do with it right now. Lots of hostile fish around. Ow. <sighs> Let's see if we can't find that brown seashell before we... The last brown seashell before we get out of here. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Alright, definitely not going to be picking up any shark this time, but you know what? That's fine with me. Phew, that was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, if I just complete a delivery to Eco Watcher. Ta da! Haha, <laughs> research level gain. Hmm? Eco Watcher. Oh, you don't know? Eco Watcher is a mission based app made to protect the environment. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. So this was for points on the app, not for a paper. Oh, uh, well, you could say they're basically the same thing. You try it out, too, if you're interested. See you. Of course. But that does get us Eco Watcher. Use the Eco Watcher app to check out on various ecological missions, gather points to receive various rewards. Got some decent stuff. I might actually research the Season Kajime and the Red Agar. Oh, there's an applicant for a Bancho Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. And your first hire is always guaranteed to be her, Kyoko. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have here. This is a pretty nice resume we have here. Let's hire this person right away. Going to make money fast and go traveling. Now, your employees all have various skills. Cooking, obviously, means how quickly they can... Uh, 
well, how quickly they can help Bouncho with cooking, serving, how quick they are at serving, which is what we're going to want her for, because she's got a 35 in it. Procure is something I'll go over a little bit later. Appeal is also something that we don't really need right now. Honestly, I'm not really certain we uh, what it does per se. I know there's one thing it applies to, but other than that one thing that we're not going to see for a long, long time, well, yeah. <laughs> and they also each have skills that unlock by training them. Alright, looks like we have our first staff. Hired staff must be placed. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly. Add them to your dining area to soup, ah, serve food more quickly. As our first staff, let's try the dining area assignment for now. Yes, please. I think that should be enough to go on for now. I'm staying the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more customers start coming in. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. All right, a new employee. Hi. Opening only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such a late hour. Well, that's your fault. You knew what you were getting into. Anyways, there's also dispatch. This is how you gain some of the other ingredients. Such as, you know, the olive oil, soy sauce, salt, and black vinegar. But if you send them out, they are going to be gone for the day. Thus, they cannot help in the kitchen. So, it's not a bad idea to, um... Fill up your kitchen staff slots, but still have some staff that you can dispatch purely for getting those ingredients. And just bear in mind, they do take a bite out of your profits. Anyways, this is what we wanted to save the money for. We wanted to get her trained up. And train her up again to get drink serving. She is now able to serve tea. And can't train her up anymore. We don't have the cash for it. Well, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Here's Eco Watcher. Uh, ooh. I could turn this in, but mm, perhaps I want to save it. Go Health Bracelet. Uh, you know what? Let's boost our air tank. Anyways, with her, we'll have an easier time of things. Uh, let's research the agar and the seasoned kajume. See if we can't serve that. And yes, actually, we can. Five servings. Okay, well, let's toss the shark head on here, because it is a good money maker. Now let's put out the agar torokin. I could enhance it. Yeah, why not? And we'll put that out. And... Do I also put this one out? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah, for that one we need black vinegar. And we are out of soy sauce now. Oh, that's fine. 15, that should be more than enough for tonight. And we still have some space open just in case. Alright, let's get to work. Maybe I should have put out a hiring notice. You know what? Why not? Oh, and your staff always remembers the exact order in which someone ordered something. Or which people had ordered. So, very useful. Yeah, we definitely need to get someone in the kitchen working with Boncho. Speed him up. That one's filling up red. Which means they were next. Mm -hmm. 
Now, while the serving drinks thing is good, because it means we don't have to worry about it, uh, it does also mean that whenever somebody orders a drink, they are going to be preoccupied doing it. And I should make some more wasabi. Oh, perfect. Got just the right amount with only one shark's head going to waste. But you know what? That's fine. Oof. Almost for that silver rank. Still, though, look at all that cash we brought in. More than any other. Oof. That is going to help us out greatly. I would like to save some cash. I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you will have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of Bancho Sushi at any time using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. Well, that sounds handy. It is, but unfortunately you can only check the status. You can't actually do anything. I'm sure Bancho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Yo, I intend on that happening. You can check Bancho Sushi Bar information using management app, check it on your phone. Again, I find it kind of useless. Because it only lets you check the information and nothing else. It does let us check to see what, uh we're missing in terms of, you know, certain dishes and how much we can make of them. So I suppose in that way it's kind of useful. I uh, definitely want to pick up some more shark meat. It's not taste. Price. Yeah, definitely. And I want to enhance the Titan Triggerfish Sushi because I got more than enough for that. And you can't change up anything with the staff. So, yeah. Well, got a ton of cash. I do want to do some eye diver upgrades. I'm thinking the cargo box. But I think after that, I want to save my cash for whatever hiring we have. Because while the first one is free, because it's tutorial, the rest are not. But definitely grabbing the cargo box. And saving for the rest. Because we won't get to see the new hires until tonight. Okay, then. Priority number one, get a shark's head. After that, fill up the cargo box with as much good fish as we can get. And if we can maybe find some soy sauce and some salt, I would say no. Titan Triggerfish. May as well get more of these guys. Let's see, some Kajime. I can't do anything with it without some black vinegar, though. Long Distance Underwater Scooter has a much longer battery on it. I also go for some humphead parrot fish. Ah, one thing at a time, one thing at a time. First things first, the shark. Yes, yeah, sometimes when you get attacked by sharks, because there is more than obviously more than one. You will get a little mini game to escape getting attacked by them, but if you fail it, well, they'll do a lot of damage to you. And you know what? Let's get some humphead parrotfish.
Okay, and yeah, there's no way we're getting the artifact. It's 45 meters down and we're already at 50. Nope. You want to be careful with these uh, currents, because more often than not, they will lead you into spikes. That will do a lot of damage to you. And you can't do a whole lot to fight against them. At least not without a scooter. Even then, that's just going to hold you in place. Painted Comer. Where did that one fish go? Yeah, probably disappeared and despawned by now. I mean, unless that one's it, but probably not. Got it. Narrow Baird Spanish Mackerel. Okay. And there goes our scooter. Ooh, pufferfish. Okay. Shark Harpoon. Ah, come on. Because you can catch these things. It's not easy. Well, I say that. Hmm, turmeric. I don't think we have anything that really uses turmeric, though. Getting close to our weight limit. Ooh. Oxygen, I will gladly take that. Ah, come on. Okay, hit our weight limit. Ooh, Starry Puffer Poison Snack Sack, I think it said. Yeah, sometimes you can get materials off of fish. And that's actually something you need for your weapons. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to make it to that radar spot just yet. We'll need to upgrade our suit, but that's going to have to wait. For now, let's get out of here. Find an escape pod. Oh, by the way, in terms of materials, we want to get something off of those cuttlefish. But you have a better chance of getting the material if you catch them alive. Which we aren't quite there yet. There is the hush dart, but... There's a more reliable one. Okay, get us out of here. Now to go straight back in. All right, 
We may as well stockpile some of this kajume. Eh? And I do see that cooking pot in there, but I also see the moray eel guarding it. Not worth going after right now. Ooh, a scooter. I'll take it. And grab some yellow back for Salir. Probably I'm horribly mispronouncing that, but you know what? I don't care. Because if we do find some soy sauce, we can make that dish again. Some agar that I could grab. least time freezes whenever these mini games are happening so that's something okay shark should be somewhere around here there it is but it's also gotten tight trigger fish with it so I'm gonna take this guy out before it becomes a problem with this. Well, more than once. Okay, then. Primary objective completed. Let's see if we can't get some more stuff. And a gun enhancement kit. That would have been useful, but hey, at the very least it also refills my ammo. Alright, let's head deeper down. Get some more valuable fish. Oh, and, uh, yeah, any squid or octopus-based stuff will squirt ink, obviously. Ugh, and that outright killed it. Which means there's no point in keeping it. I was hoping to just weaken it. seeing this one. Not what I was aiming for. Clown frogfish. Interesting. I hope there's a hush dart in this one for reasons. Nope. Red Sniper Rifle. The Red Angel of War penetrates targets marked with its laser sight. Lies here. I was kind of hoping it would be a hush dart. Reason being is that it would let me capture these jellyfish, which we do need. Should have just made a hush dart, but then again I jumped in here explicitly wanting to catch a shark. So the hush dart wouldn't have done me any good. At the very least, I've made some progress with, well, getting that. The red, uh, sniper. Probably gonna need to 
tweaking it. It's okay then, no. Red, uh, yeah, Red Sniper's just a little too strong for this. All right, time to get out of here. Don't have enough time to go through another night. At least I don't think so. Because I suppose that depends on how long it takes me to prepare. Got some new recruits. Or applicants, I should say. I'm probably gonna grab Raul and toss him in the kitchen. He's got some good stats. Assuming I can afford him. Ah, uh, oof. I cannot, but I do need someone helping out Boncho. We were barely making it yesterday, and we're going to be going up a rank. I think for the time being, I'm going to grab pie, toss him in the kitchen. And we can afford a little bit of training. And once we get enough for him, we can toss this guy out to do some procurement. Because why not? Okay, as usual, let's toss the shark head on here. I could enhance it, but eh, that would use up everything. Let's instead enhance the sushi. Spanish mackerel, or, yeah, Spanish mackerel, huh? Uh, I can't enhance this again. Let's, let's toss five on the menu for this. Unfortunately, I couldn't get what I needed for the dishes, which is a shame, because those are good money. But that's fine. Let's enhance this Titan trigger fish, like, a lot. Alright, can't go any further, but hey. And that should be more than enough for tonight. Mm. If you keep on practicing, you can become a master. Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Huh, I just realized I didn't bother learning or reading about him. Ah, oh, well. Oh, shoot, we just ran out of time. Oh, well, we'll get through the night. No big deal if we go a little bit overboard. But yeah, as you can see, his cooking is somewhat faster. Let her focus on the serving. I'll take care of the drinks. Oh, a lot of wasabi. 
Yeah, you're gonna find that running out of wasabi becomes more and more common as you go along. Ah, uh, should I toss someone on the menu? No, I think we're good for the evening. Yeah, I'm aware there's no items on the menu, but guess what? No more customers. Alrighty then, made a decent amount of cash there. Hmm, and it's raining today, huh? Well, gonna end things off there for this episode. Had a good time. Get made a ton of cash that helped me out a lot. But yeah, gonna end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.